Well, good evening, everybody. Come on and give God a praise in this house tonight. We come up to lift the holy name of Jesus, and we are grateful for this moment in time for what God is about to do to break up the fallow ground and to begin to bring us together in oneness and unity of purpose, mind, heart, and spirit as we continue to advance the work of our leader, Martin Luther King, Jr., and advance the work of the kingdom of God. We're going to have to make a little bit, you can be seated, shifts and adjustments on tonight. Um, I am so delighted that all of you are here with us on tonight, um, and I know that many of you made great sacrifices to be here tonight, and I am eternally grateful, but more importantly, God is grateful. Um, and tonight, we're going to be praying. I, I, there's something that I'm going to say, but I'm going to hold that right now because I asked a very near and dear friend of mine who's a colleague in ministry if she could come and be with us on tonight, and she actually flew in um, and adjusted her schedule and has to fly right back out uh, to get to a preaching engagement. And I, I just want to thank you for your love and support, Pastor Paula White, who's here with us uh, on, on tonight. This affects, this affects nations, and so we, we wanted to make sure that we had uh, the nations here tonight and ministers from across the nation uh, with us on tonight. So what we're going to do first and foremost is I'm going to ask her to come because uh, originally the program was outlined to start with a praise and worship, and we're going to get to that and then move uh, to my, my, uh, my quick, my statement, and then Pastor Paula White was coming to pray for me, but if you don't mind, I'm going to ask her to come and pray for me, the president-elect of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference now, and then we'll move straight into a, a moment of worship and song. Let us receive Pastor Paula White. Good evening. I'm going to ask everybody to stand. It's an honor to be here and to stand in this sacred position for such a time as this with Dr. King. I honor the greatness in this room and as we stand knowing that God can take us to literally bring forth his plan and purpose in the earth. The Bible says very clearly that without a vision, the people perish. And without a people, the vision perishes. And before every people, there is a leader. There's a man and woman that God raises up. God has appointed Dr. King for such a time as this, not only as an image bearer and an agent of assignment in the earth, as we all know and show our support. It was not an option for me to rearrange my schedule, but a necessity. And let me share my heart for two seconds, and then we're going to stretch our hands. I had the wonderful privilege to stand on the balcony in Memphis at the 40th year anniversary of your father's assassination, and they introduced me as the embodiment of the dream of Dr. King, and that he said, um, suffering is redemptive, like not chosen suffering, and that my life story and the reflection of what God has done and what he's called me as in the earth was really only a possibility because the price he paid. God's original intention is his final decision. There are no accidents or coincidences in God. He has mantled you for such a time as this and raised you up. And the voice that will be heard will be a voice within your voice. For even now, there is a power that will come forth from you with the wisdom and the word of God to bring forth what the ultimate intention of God is. For he has lifted you to this position and he has placed you for advancement and to bring reconciliation and restoration. And the word of the Lord to you is do not fear the face of man for God is with you. And God has advanced you and God has chose you. And just like the prophet was instructed to go down and to take the horn of oil and to pour it over and that oil would not be released, the anointing would not be released until it found the right headship. And he was to pour it over, for God said, I have raised me up, this man. God said, I have found a king among the kid. And he said, I have chosen, him, which means tried and selected. Your trial will not go to waste. 
every pain in your life has purpose for God has refined you and reformed you for such a time as this for you are a true reformer and revolutionist in the earth and it is a privilege to co-labor and to stand with you as a co-peer to advance the greatest cause and that is that we would all be one and that not only would Dr. King's dream be fulfilled but the dream of God would be fulfilled and that we would be a people that would be positioned for the royalty the rule and the realm of God I thank you for the price you've paid and we stand in unity and we stand into support to say that we are here with you and that God will take us and he will do great exploits. I'm going to ask you to stretch your hands towards Dr. King. It is a privilege to be here with you. Father, as I lay my hand on her right now, I decree and I declare that there is an anointing, a manifested present, that this is a day that she will rise to the occasion with not the words of her own wisdom, but the words of the Holy Spirit that has been ordained before the very foundations of the earth for the purpose of God cannot miscarry and while we thank you for every leader of the past and we thank you for every worker and every person that has made this possible for none of us could be here without all coming together and being a part of your plan and your purpose we thank you that you have chosen her at this strategic time this crossroads in history to bring forth your destiny and we thank you that she will go forth and do great exploits to bring what your purpose and your plan has been anointed and ordained to do. She is a birther. You have impregnated her. You have given her the vision. You have given her the voice. And now you will also give her the favor in an unprecedented way that we will stand as one united to see true restoration and reconciliation. I decree it and I declare it. And I declare that the fire of God shall be upon her and this day is a new phase of her life. As I lay hands on her, let there be an impartation of the fire of God. She is a prototype. And there is a, there is a new anointing. There is a new level that she will lead others to. As we go into greater depth of seeing your goodness released and your greatness, I decree it and I declare it. And it has already been established. And the people said, yes. And everybody said, amen bless you. It's an honor to be with you. And I just want you to know that not only do I stand in great support, but I stand to serve in any capacity that I can. Because again, without the price that has been paid by so many, I would never be able to see what God has done in my life. Many blessings to all of you. God bless you. Amen. As you continue to rest on your feet, we have praise and worship coming led by Shay Simpson, Lydia Pace, and Pastor William Murphy. Amen. Amen. Do you mind just lifting your voice to the Lord like a trumpet in Zion? Let's thank the Lord for what he's doing in this season and what this night represents in the kingdom. It's a great thing that he's doing through our sister today. And we just ask that the glory of the Lord would cover her and overshadow her and cover this service tonight that God would manifest himself like never before. We just ask that you would join in with us tonight as we sing this song. Hallelujah. Father, saturate us with your presence tonight. Let your glory fill this place. Let your all-consuming fire fill this tabernacle and purify our hearts. Let's sing it together. Surround us in, surround us in this and breathe new life within us and breathe new life. Send a refreshing Lord and saturate our hearts. Saturate our hearts. Oh, oh, rain on us. Breathe on us, oh Lord. Shower down. Shower down. Send your spirit, Lord. Oh, rain. Shower down. Shower down. 
your voice tonight. 